This is just a bit of an experiment to see how well Windows 7 runs on older hardware. I'm using the Windows 7 Professional 32-bit OEM disk. And uh, this is running on an A-bit NF7S motherboard with an Athlon XP 2600 Plus processor. Uh, the video card is a G GeForce FX 5950 Ultra. And it's only got one gig of RAM. I think it's DDR333. And I installed it on a really beat up uh, Hitachi hard drive that had like a lot of bad sectors on it. Um, didn't seem to hurt Windows any. The installation took about 25 minutes from start to finish. And uh, it's running great. Not bad for a six year old computer. Even uh, Windows Arrow is working. I got a performance index of 3.4, which isn't really too bad for a computer this old. It wasn't even designed for Windows 7 at all. But, uh, it's nice and snappy and seems pretty stable so far. The only thing I thought was odd was that the Silicon Image 3112 uh, SATA chipset on this board still needed a uh, separate driver to see the hard drive during Windows installation and I use the same driver disk that you would use on Windows XP which that was kind of strange I thought you'd need a newer driver or that Windows would have it built in but that particular chip uh, did not work without a separate driver other than that installation went like normal and uh, didn't take all that long I thought it was going to take forever and uh, once Windows booted up it went and got the uh, newer drivers for the onboard audio and for the video card and everything worked right from the get-go just took right off I'm really surprised and, uh, I won't be leaving this computer like this permanently. This is basically just a, a Test just to see how it works. I'm gonna Plug the Windows XP hard drive back in and now that I know this runs Windows 7. I might might uh, upgrade it permanently in the future if I need to not bad for a computer this old.